Lord's day and heard behind me the voice of a trumpet. transmitted from the Isle of Patmos in the Spirit over into the Lord's day. This is the day of man. Man is fighting. But the day of the Lord will come when these kingdoms will become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. Then there will be the great millennium. The Lord's day, the day of His coming, His judgment. That'll be the Lord's day. This is the day of man. That's where you just slam me around and do what they want you with you. But there'll be a time. Call you, they call you now holy roar and fanatic. But there'll be a time come. See? That they won't do that. They'll scream and wail and fall at your feet. The Bible said, Mount God for you. He'd walk out on the ashes after they're burnt up. Leave them neither root nor branch. Exactly what the Bible says. The righteous shall walk upon the ashes of the wicked. Yes. Exactly. There'll not be left root or branch. Nothing to come back to. And they'll be done. <clears throat> now this is a man's day. Man's doing. Man's works. Man's church. Man's ideas. But the day of the Lord is coming. He was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Now you can't do any good until first you get in the Spirit. Amen. God can't use you. Hallelujah. Your, 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 all your efforts are, are in vain until first you do it in the Spirit. If I will sing, I will sing in the Spirit. If I'll pray, said Paul, I'll pray in the Spirit. And then if there is anything that comes to me that's any good, it has to be revealed to me by the Spirit and confirmed by the Word. Made manifest by the results of there. All right, and the first thing he heard when he was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Now we got the 10th verse. In the Spirit on the Lord's day, and he heard a voice as a trumpet. Now remember, the first thing you have to do is what? Get in the Spirit. How these revelations going to ever come to you? Get in the Spirit. How are you ever going to get the Holy Ghost? Get in the Spirit. Get in the Spirit. When you was a sinner and you went to a dance, you got in that Spirit. Yeah. Oh, now you start clapping your hands and clapping your feet and shin digging and throwing your head on the floor and going around and around that silly. You're in the Spirit of it. Could you imagine a fellow was a dance being going to the dance thing? Well, and you all having a pretty good time, I suppose. <laughs> oh, they say you all far get out of here. See? Go to the ball game, somebody knock a home run or something other. Step and look and say, well, guess that's pretty good. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be a baseball fiend. You wouldn't be a real, you wouldn't be in the spirit of baseball. When somebody knocks a home run, you raise them over. Whoosh, whoosh, ma, wham! Knock somebody's hat off his head like that. Nobody says a word about it. Then in the church, when you get in the spirit, raise up all the glory. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Somebody turn around and say, Holy Roller. Praise the Lord. Oh, Brother Woods, I'm going to ask you a question. If we're holy rollers because we do that, then them's unholy rollers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. I'd rather be a holy roller with you than an unholy one. <laughs> My sir. The unholy rollers. Now he was in the spirit, he got in the spirit. 
Then things begin to take place. And then when he got in there, he heard a trumpet. Now a trumpet always announces the approaching of something. Like when you come, uh, a king is approaching. They'll sound a trumpet. When Jesus approaches, he'll sound a trumpet. Is that right? When Joseph went forth, they sounded the trumpet. And now something's coming forward. John got the spirit and he heard a trumpet. He heard a trumpet. And he turned to look what was behind him. When he heard the trumpet, actually got into the spirit. Maybe he was dancing, jumping, running all around the island. He's having a good time. He's in the spirit. So, and uh, he, uh, that may sound sacrilegious, but I don't mean it that way, see? He could. That's he might have been doing that. I believe he was. Having a good time in the spirit, just praising God. Because that's exactly what happened when the spirit fell on him at the first place. When the Holy Ghost fell on him, they staggered like drunk men and women and acted like they were drunk and chabbering and caught carrying all I got to the people said these people are full of new wine that's the way they acted the first time so the spirit come on again he probably acted the same way there's nothing new about this this thing this is an old time religion <laughs> yeah <laughs> is the old time Holy Spirit. And the devil won't get near it. That's the reason people fear it. But it's good enough for me. It is the old time Now let's just say the same thing. I got that old time.